Hey YouTube family, how is everybody doing today out there? I hope everybody is doing blessed and well, okay? And today I'm back with another video and thank you for um, joining me with this video whenever it comes across you or whenever you come across it, okay? Okay, so today I just, you see I'm sitting here, so for those of you who know, who watch my videos regularly, you know that I'm about to I'm about to say something. I'm about to give you a verse, okay? One that I read this morning and I thought it was, I thought it was, well, it's, they're always good to me. But, you know, sometimes I want to bring them to you too, okay? And this is one I want to bring to you too, okay? And it goes like this. And it says, place your hope in God. Guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God, my Savior. And my hope is in you all day long. That is Psalms 25, 5. When you are at your wit's end, who do you look to for help? If you, if you are putting your hope in God, then you will never be let down. When you hang on to his truth and allow him to teach you, it's easy to put your hope in him. And when you accept Christ as your Savior, he lives in you each day and stokes the fire in your soul. Keep hope alive in your body and spirit. You have hope for a future because he is your past, your present, and your everything from here on out. Okay? Amen. Put all your hope in him and you will see the reward. Lord, I'm putting my hope in you. I'm put Lord. I am putting my hope and trust in you. Guide me in your truth. Teach me your ways. You are my savior. And I'm so thankful for that. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. To the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, so what I get from this is, no matter what it is, keep your hope and your faith in God, okay? Don't rely on others. Okay? Rely on God. Okay? That's who you put your hope and your trust in. You put that in God. Because he already knows what it is. He already knows what you're going through. And he can help your situ situation. He is your Lord and Savior. Okay? Just like it says here, he is your past, your present, and your future. So when you're having these problems and these troubles, don't turn to just anybody to put your trust in and tell your issues to. Turn to God first, okay? We may sometimes need others to, you know, confess to, you know, this, that, and the other. And that's fine too. But before you confess to others, you should confess it to God. First and foremost, you know? Like you may have other... And I'm not saying just tell things to, confess things to anybody, just anybody, like, you know. Let it be a, a, you know, a family member or a church member, somebody who can pour into you, you know, and tell you to take it to God, you know. Things like that. So you always want to go to God first, okay. And whatever that you're going through. Because in the end, he is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. And he is the one who can help you with any issue. And I, and I can't reiterate that I can't reiterate this enough. You know, that God is our Lord and Savior. He is the Alpha and the Go Omega. He is the beginning and the end, okay? And anything that I issue that I have, even if I even if I did take it to a family member or a church member, I always take it to God first, you know. And I don't try to make it a habit of just taking my problems to to man before I take my problems to God, you know. Because in the end, I know God is the one who can really help my problems. Whatever it may be. He is the one who can help my issue. Whatever it may be. He is the one who can help any trial or tribulation. That comes in my life. Okay. I have to turn to him. Like he says. Because he is the one. That's going to guide me. 
okay? He's one. He's the one who's going to guide me in truth and teach me and teach me, okay? So when you having these issues and problems and, you know, things just aren't going like you want them to go or like you think they should go, take that to God, okay? Talk to him about it. Believe me, he'll give you an answer. You Like I say before, and when I mean, you may not get it that same day that you're bringing it to him, but he's going to give you an answer. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So you have to put your hope and your trust in the Lord before you put your hope and your trust in anybody else. Put it in God, okay? That's who you put your hope in, okay? Put your hope in Jesus, okay? Like, really. He will guide you in your truth. He will guide you in whatever it is you need to be guided in in, in your life, okay? Excuse me. God will guide you there. And I'm telling you, it's a beautiful feeling to put your trust in God, to know when you something is going wrong and you can go to him and just, you know, go to that secret place or wherever you at, you know, and you can just, even if you say it to yourself, wherever you at, wherever was going on, you know, just Lord, whatever it is, just talk to him about it. I'm telling you, or get in that secret place, your secret place with God, you know, and just talk to him about whatever is going on. He wants you to bring him his, your burdens. He wants you to bring him your burdens so he can make them better, you know. But it's things that we have to do too. We pray to God, oh God, let us get, uh, can we get have this? <clears throat> can we have that? And Lord, make this like this. And Lord, can you do this? And can you do that? And yeah, that's all fine. But we also have to take a foot forward. You take one step, he'll take two. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So that means don't just sit around and not push to be better and to do better and just expect God to change your situation. You have to do your part too. And when he see you doing your part, all that you can, with whatever you working with, oh, he going to step in. He's going to step in. Especially if you're doing something that's going to let him get the glory out of it. He's going to step in. Okay? So, I'm telling you, let's take whatever we have to him, first and foremost. Okay? And that's what I see. That's what I do. And that's what I'm going to keep doing. Because it was a, a time in my life that I wasn't doing that. I was taking my all my problems to man. One, one after another. This person now, oh, 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 what did I do? What did I do? No. No. No, no, no. And I wasn't even taking them to him. But that's how good God is. Even though I wasn't taking my issues and my problems to him like I should, he was still there to love me and watch over me and protect me through it all. Through it all. But when I start really taking, talking to him, giving him my time, praying to him, worshiping him, praising him, loving him, letting him in, giving him all my burdens and all my sorrows. Once I start doing that, I start seeing things change in my life for the better. Okay? So, that's what I see. That's what I get from this. Place your hope in God. And that's who I placed my hope in. That's who I placed my hope in. I placed my hope in God. Man, I'm telling you. If you haven't tried it yet, please do. <laughs> okay? If I mean, for whoever out there who haven't tried, really just putting your wholehearted 
heart and faith and trust in God, then you try that, okay? This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it, okay? Today is going to be a great day. And I just love saying that because I want to speak that. I want to manifest that every single morning that it's going to be a great day. Okay, no matter what the day holds, because I don't know what it's going to hold, but I'm going to speak that it's going to be a great day and believe that, okay? Because that's the faith that I have in God, okay? So yeah, that's what I wanted to say this morning. Place your hope in God. Guide me in your truth and teach me for you are God my Savior and my hope in you, my hope is in you all day long. Because that's who my hope is in. My hope is in God all day long. All day long. Okay? Yes. Lord, I am putting my hope and trust in you. Guide me in your truth. Teach me your ways. Because he will teach you his ways. Okay? His ways are the ways that we want to live by. Not our ways. Not man's ways. But God's ways. Okay? His ways are the ways we want to live by. Okay? You are my Savior, and I'm so thankful for that. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. So that's what I wanted to bring to you guys this morning, okay? And I really hope everybody is having a great, blessed day this morning. You guys go on, and you will have a great day this morning, okay? I haven't had my coffee yet, so I couldn't say... Well, I can say it. Grab your tea and grab your coffee, okay? And get your day started. I forgot to say it at the beginning of the video, but I haven't had my coffee yet, so that's the reason why. But it's okay. Grab yours and get your day started because this is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice and be glad in it, okay? And on that note, I hope everybody has a wonderful day today. And until the next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. Talk to me. I'll talk back. And God bless you.